Today we're gonna talk about traveling. We're gonna go over some words and phrases that will be essential to know and look for if you're gonna be traveling soon, whether it's at the airport or once you get to your destination. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an opportunity to practice your English. So let's jump right in. The first phrase we're gonna learn is checking in or check in. Oftentimes before your flight, you'll receive an email that says it's time to check in. You can check in up to 24 hours before your flight, or if you choose, you can go to the check-in counter at the airport to check in. This is also an action. Checking in is the action of going to the check-in counter. Our next phrase is waiting for luggage. Waiting for luggage. This is if you're waiting for your bags to come out to the carousel. Waiting for luggage. Next is security checkpoint. Security checkpoint. This is where you have to go through the scanners and scan your bags through TSA. This is something that you'll commonly hear and see as well. TSA. This is where they'll check your bags and your pockets to be sure that you're not bringing anything that's not allowed on an airplane. TSA or security checkpoint. Next. This is something we do when we're prepping for the trip. That is packing suitcases, packing suitcases. For some people, packing is exciting. For others, it's just another chore you have to do. I personally don't love packing and I try to pack as light as possible. Are you an overpacker or an underpacker? Or do you feel like you get it just right? Packing suitcases. Traveling to the airport. Traveling to the airport. This phrase is something you can say to someone to let them know that you're on your way to the airport. Someone calls you and says, where are you right now? I'm traveling to the airport or I'm on my way to the airport. The next thing is something you might do on your flight, at your new destination, maybe at the gate. This is meeting new people. This is when those skills that we've learned in our introducing yourself video would come in handy, when you're meeting new people. The next term is flying, flying. This is when you're in the air on the airplane. I'm flying. Going back to the term we covered at the beginning of checking in, remember when I referenced the email you might get that says it's time to check in? This feature is called self check-in. They also have self-check-in kiosks at the airport where you could go up to that instead of the counter to check in. This next term is called hand luggage, hand luggage. Another word for this could be a carry on bag, carry on bag or hand luggage is the items that you bring on with you on the airplane. This could be a backpack or a small roller suitcase. Over the years, the requirements for carry-on and hand luggage have significantly decreased. Now you're left with only being able to bring very few things. Next, we have currency exchange. Currency exchange is where you go to exchange the cash 
for the currency of the place you may be visiting. Maybe I'm going from the United States to Colombia. I would need to exchange dollars to pesos. Currency exchange. Next we have passport control. Passport control. This is typically if you're flying internationally, they'll have to check your passport. Sometimes, not often, something may not look right on your passport and they may need extra information for you. This is where you would go, passport control. Next you have the boarding gate. This is often referred to just as the gate, boarding gate. This is the area in the airport where your airplane comes and you get onto your airplane. The boarding gate or the gate. Next, once you're on the plane, you may have a choice with the seats that you take. There's the aisle seat, the middle seat, and the window seat. If you notice, each of these seats has an adjective that describes where the seat is. The aisle is obviously the seat closest to the hall where people are walking. The middle seat is in the middle and the window seat is by the airplane window. Which seat do you prefer? I myself like to be at the window seat because I love looking out, but it is convenient to be in the aisle seat especially if you're traveling with kids. So now let's go over some information about your flight. Is it a direct flight? Direct flight? This means a flight that goes straight from point A all the way to point B with no stops. An indirect flight or a flight with a layover Layover is a flight where you have to stop in between your two locations. Say I'm going from Dallas to Salt Lake. I could say I have a direct flight to Salt Lake. Or if I have to stop before, I could say I'm flying to Salt Lake, but I have a layover in Denver. This is a layover or an indirect flight. Say you wanna go shopping in the airport. A term you may see and hear is duty free. Duty free. D-U-T-Y, duty free. Duty free is when an item that you purchase at an airport or a duty free store does not have taxes on it duty free. So when's the next time that you're going to travel? Do you think that you can use some of these terms in your travel adventures? There are many more of these videos to come. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an opportunity to learn and practice your English. Good luck and great job today. See you next time. Hello. Here is my ticket and identification. Thank you. Please hold your arms above your head. Hello. Thank you for flying View Airlines. How can I help you? No problem. Where are you traveling today? I'm traveling to Miami. Hi, Jennifer. Did you drive to the airport easily? Hi. No, driving wasn't easy. I left my house late and there were a lot of cars.